Welcome to today's video. I am going to show you five great tips to hold your computer in good shape. Let's get right to it. First tip is to uninstall programs you don't use. It is a very easy way to hold your system in good shape. So go to Start, go to Control Panel, and go to Programs, and under that you see Uninstall a program. You press that, and here you'll see all your programs. It may take a few seconds to load all your programs, but just wait, it will eventually pop up. Then you just walk through this list and find programs you don't use anymore, and you simply just right click on them, and it says uninstall slash change. You just press that and go through the uninstall wizard. So that is how you do that. Moving on to the next tip. The next thing you should do is to use your disk cleaner tool. To find that, you press on start and search for disk clean up. And here you see it, you press that and then select your drive you want to clean up. I want to clean my C drive, so I press that and press OK. And then it's just scanning your drive and there the window pops up. As you see, I use this tool frequently, so there isn't so much for me to gain right here. But you have to remember to check all the things and your recycle bin. And then you just press OK. And then it is asking you, are you sure you want to permanently delete these files? And you press delete files. And then deleting them is only gonna take a little while. And then it's done. So, moving on to the next one. This tip is about defragmentating your hard drive. And please notice this tip is only for people who use HDD drives, not SSD drives. It is only on HDD drives it actually makes a difference. This will result in your drive will be faster to find the information you have requested. So you go to start and you type in defragment and you click on the disk defragmenter. It now pops up and you see um, your drives right here and just click on the drive you want to uh, defragment. You press uh, analyze disk and I'm gonna do it with all my drives like this. I also take the system reserve with me. Now I can see my C drive is 1% fragmented, my D drive is 6% and my H is zero and my system reserve is zero. So I go from a C and D, I press on my C first and I press defragment. And I press on my D and press defragment. Now it's analyzing the disk again um, and then defragment. After that you just press close and moving on to the next tip. next tip is that you need to scan your hard drives from malware. This is obviously very important. So you have to have a good uh, antivirus program and I recommend uh, Bitdefender uh, or Malware Bytes. Um, you can see both programs right here. These two right here. I use them both at the same time because uh, I have experienced they are complementing each other very very good. So I also recommend that. And then you just go for, to scan your, your computer, like this. And now it's scanning your computer. And wait, it says my system is clean. I'm just waiting for the next scan to be completed. Now if both scans complete and I'm past both tests, so that is good. And you can find uh, links to uh, uh, both programs in the description. So if you don't have a good antivirus program, you can definitely go just buy or try a free trial of one of these programs. So let's move on to the next tip. The next tip is about cleaning your PC from dust. So for this one you will need some compressed air. I have a compressor, so that's good for me because otherwise you have to buy it on some cans and that's very expensive. So if you have a compressor that's good for you. 
And also if your computer is very dusty and very dirty, you shouldn't put it up in your kitchen like I do now. So, so maybe you should t take it outside because it's quite surprising how much dust, dust a computer can accumulate over some years. So, you have to start to um, uh, remove your, your side cover. Um, and here we have some thumb screws. You usually have some thumb screws, otherwise you have to use a screwdriver. But I can just pull them off like this. And then uh, pull the side cover to the side and then take it out. What is important here that is you have to uh, clean the heat sinks. And we have a heat sink right here. Below this fan there is a heat sink which are cooling the processor or the CPU if you want. And right down here um, below this card you see a heat sink right here and a fan. Uh, in the middle um, and you will have to clean that also and the next thing is to uh, clean uh, your fans so we have a fan right here a fan right here to the left side and we have that fan under the graphics card again like before so that's the second thing the last thing is of course you have to clean your whole case out of uh, for dust and you do that after you have um, taken the heat sinks and um, cleaned the, the fans. Let's start. Um, we start as the first one with the heat sink. So we start on the processor. So I'm gonna shoot from the right side um, through it and towards this and shooting through here. Like that. And also for the other side. Super. And then you go to the graphics card. Right here and clean it here. So, and now to the fans. Um, when you're cle uh, cleaning out a fan, you have to um, uh, hold on the fan so if you're just um, uh, blowing the air directly to the fan without holding it, then you can see it will spin up. Uh, and if you do that with compressed air, um, it will spin up too fast and you maybe it will damage your fan. So if you have to clean it, you will have to hold on your fan and then clean it. Like that. And you do it also with the case fan, which I have right here. And you hold on it so it won't spin, and you clean it. And remember to blow outside the case, so all the dust is flowing out of the case. And the last fan is on the graphic card uh, right here below, and I also take a finger on the on the fan here. So good. And the last thing, or not at the last, we need the power supply, but we'll get to that. Um, the last thing is to uh, clean out the case um, in, in the corners and all around. So we go down here to the corners and blow it up. Next thing, which is this last thing, is that you need to clean your power supply. Um, and you see this power supply have a fan right here. Um, and this fan is pulling the air out here. So it's pulling the air in from the case and through these holes and these holes. So in this case we want to uh, get the dust out of the case. We don't want to blow this way in so it flew in the, in the case, so we want to get it out of the case. So we're gonna blow from this way and out. And the power supply also has a fan here and you can also break or damage this fan, this fan. so you have to block this fan in some way. Um, in my case I'm gonna use uh, a cardboard 
um, iron dusk are folded like this. Like, I think, like that. Like this, and st stick it in right here so it's uh, it will be in between one of the blades. And take care, don't break in the blades or stick it in and don't you so don't can't get it out or something like that. So now it's jammed so it can uh, rotate. So you take your compressed air and blow from the inside and out. So I'm gonna do that now. And the next hole. And remember to get the, the cardboard out. This is a very old computer, so it can be a little different to clean your computer, which is a little more up to date probably. So I'm gonna take a closer look to a, a newer graphics card, which I have right here. This is a AMD card um, from uh, Sapphire. So what you want to do here is that you want to um, clean it out um, by blowing air through the side uh, and afterwards you're gonna blow down uh, uh, in the on the fans um, to get rid of all the dust there so I'm gonna do that now hold on the fans and start And now to the fence. So we hold on and go. And the last one. And there you have it. So to sum it all up, you have to one, uninstall unused programs, you have to make your disk cleanup, you have to defragment your HDD drive, not your SSD drive. And fourth, you have to scan your computer for malware. And fifth, but not least, you have to clean your PC for accumulated dust. That's very important. So that was all for today. I hope you liked the video and see you next time. Bye!